I'm a new sports mom. Give me some grace now. Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is Jatan with All Things Jatan here. And I'm up and out of the bed. The kids just left the house. Um, it is 7.51 and already I have a to-do list. It's going to be a jam-packed busy day. Um, so I really want to bring y'all on. And before I forget, I really want to just go ahead and do my to-do list. But I want to say the brain fog has really gotten real. I'll be turning 40 this year. I don't know if this is normal. I, I don't know. But I really have to rely on creating a to-do list. So for today, uh, I have to call Jordan's. Taylor is staying after school today. Kaysa has her first home volleyball game today. I also want to write out my budget. Grocery list, so... Now, my mom is supposed to be coming in this weekend. Keep me in prayers. And traveling here from Alabama. I'll get into that later on. Um, yeah, but she's supposed to be coming in she's this weekend to like help out with things. So, that will come in handy when it comes to like my grocery shopping and all that. Because I'm still not out of the woods. I'm not supposed to be lifting heavy things. If you don't know, if you haven't seen my preview of his videos, you knew here, I am still recovering from a hysterectomy surgery. And let me tell you all what I did yesterday so stupidly, so irresponsible of myself. I I don't I don't know if I got OCD, but I saw like stuff on the side of my stove as I was like cooking and cleaning up, like crumbs that had fell um, down beside the stove. So I went to go pull the stove out and pushed it back in and I didn't feel any pain but I noticed that I had started spotting a little bit and I was too embarrassed to like call the doctor so once that happened and it wasn't bad it was I promise you it wasn't bad but um yeah I started spotting I ended up just taking some like ibuprofen in case anything else were to come with that and I went ahead and got went to bed. I woke up feeling fine this morning, as you guys can tell. But I definitely won't do that again. I, I did tell my kids. And my oldest was like, Mom, why you didn't tell us? We would have came down there and got it, did it. It's been there. And go and get it, got it. You know. And then this morning, it was kind of like a little debacle. Because I asked them, which I don't try to have my kids do anything that is technically my responsibilities but based on the search the circumstances of me still recovering i'm like yo um can y'all take taylor to the bus stop um jordan has never taken her to the bus stop in fact her oldest her friend that she goes to school with she's at the bus stop every morning with her brother she had an attitude she wanted to huff and puff but you want to do cheerleading practice like it's one band one show i'm one person and i stood up there and which you know i feel obligated to do they or my kids i flip up the whole house just to accommodate my kids i'm asking you to do one thing oh i'm gonna miss my bus i'm not gonna have time to get ready i'm not gonna do this and i'm like case and did it your bus come at the same time like y'all you have more than enough time they literally just had left the house teller been going since 6 40. but we won't have to have another house meeting about that because i already was hesitant and i felt like i pushed off my hysterectomy surgery so long because i did not have the support i did not have anybody that could just be here help make sure that i um was not doing the most to like recover so forth and so on and I had to talk with them. Oh, we got you. We got you. If it was too much to handle, I don't know what I would have done. But for the most part, I don't want to keep putting things on Taylor and Kaysen because they're always the ones that get up and do it. I don't know what it is about that older child. I don't know what it is. But um, we're we going to keep her in prayer. So let me stop rambling. I'm going to go ahead and let me see what time it is because I can already begin it's eight o'clock so here's my um now don't worry about the times or whatever okay but i just want to show you all how i use my reminders and i put things in my to-do list i just use my app on my phone because i try doing a journal thing i try writing things down however i'm not writing i'm not walking around with like a journal i'm not walking around with a notebook so the easiest thing for me to do is plug everything into my phone. I have my phone with me at all times. It allows me to set a time 
um, like a, a timer associated with it. Like if I have to have something done, if I have a meeting, things of that nature, I'm able to put a time in there. So what I do is, let me show you all first where I, what I use. This is the app that I use. The reminder, uh, I am an iPhone user, so I don't know how it is for, for anybody else that maybe has like a Windows based phone, but I just click on this and I'm going into today and it will allow you to set like future, like as you can see, oh, come on y'all. Okay, so you can do schedule today, um, all flagged, things of that nature. So I'm guessing with flag, if you have anything that is like an ongoing, I don't know, I never use that, but it also has like the completed. So anything that you complete on your to-do list will go into that category. So for today, I just click here. And like I said, don't pay attention to the times and stuff because it's not gonna apply. But here is the time and things like that. So you can see that here. Now, if I had anything that I had to be done by a certain time, I would just go ahead and add that in there and set like a little 15 minute grace period because for the most part where I live at and the things that I have to do today is within like a 15 mile radius. So let me go ahead and call her doctor and I'll bring her back up in a minute. If you would like to make, change an appointment or a new patient requesting to establish care. It easier to you know how you ain't been out in a while I and, and the whole music come on and you just want to go ahead and give it a little more at tannermychart.org hey, while i'm waiting on that let me go ahead and kill two birds and one stone i'm gonna sit up here and start working on my budget so um this will be my august the very first thing that i do out of my check is pay my tides now because i'm um out of work right now i'm gonna go based off of my last paycheck because i i don't know how to see it we're with you momentarily like i said some things there i'm always gonna pay my camera getting ready to die. i'll be back y'all so also i'm back i let my battery charge it is saying full right now i had to change i had on black and white but i got uh tinted moisturizer on my shirt you thought that once you got a hysterectomy that you'll be open to wearing white. I love white, I love black, I love neutral base colors. However, I'm a little bit on the messy, clumsy side, especially like when I'm in a rush. I did like a little light beat on my face. I just did some Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. When you have something that works for you, don't get fooled by what might work for somebody else because this has been my tried and true tinted moisturizer is very light you don't feel like caked up weighed down or anything and then for my concealer i have like the full coverage concealer from sephora another top tier product that i like and use i went on let that set and then just you know blended that in and then i just put on like a little bit of blush so this is what it's giving um, right now. I'm going to go up to Jordan, well my kid's pediatrician office because they said that if I come up there and fill out the parent part of the physical, they'll be able to have the doctor send, um, sign it. So she doesn't have to be seen. She was already there in March. They can use the data and the information from that time frame to get my girl going so that she can try out for the cheerleading team. Let's go ahead and get out the door. I don't have any breakfast food. I didn't want to buy out, but I'm probably going to have to get something to eat while I'm out. I was going ahead and working on my budget, so I already have this done. Um, and I found this cookbook. I don't remember when I got it, but I must have got it from like a Whole Foods or something like that. Or maybe it's some Amazon. I'm going to have to check my cart. I know I didn't pay that price that it say right there. I Trust me. I know I didn't. But it gives you like weekly or weeknight dinners. Now, while I'm out, I still don't have yet an appetite, but your girl got enough points to go ahead and get her a free drink. So, I think I'm going to go with the big dog. Like, go big or go, go home. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get that. Um, and I'll do my order once I leave from the doctor's office. So, let me do that first.
Hey y'all, so I just left out of the doctor's office for Jordan and it sounds like it's going to take a couple days. Her last visit, I actually had her mixed up with Taylor and Kaysen. Taylor and Kaysen went back on March 2nd. She went April 12th, so she went even more recently. But they were saying like it could take up or it's to like five days. And from my understanding, she won't even be able to try out without her physical. So then I started thinking, I'm like, then you go to CVS? Like, didn't I already have you a physical done? So now I'm trying to contact CVS to see, like, if they have her records. I went ahead and went on CVS.com because I already have an account like to, like, try to link her medical information. And um, it let me add her name and everything, but for some reason it's not giving me that her records and stuff like that so i don't know if it's because it has to take time i just recently added her i don't know if that's a security or a safety feature i just called and talked to someone and maybe i wasn't in the right area but all this rigmarole is making me tired and making me hungry so we're getting ready to go to starbucks to get my coffee um and i'm going for an iced coffee my car is reading 70 i don't know why i got this air on I want to try to let in some of the fresh air or whatever. Yeah, let me know what y'all drink orders are. I think I'm going to go for, what am I going to go for? I kind of want like a pumpkin spice chai type shindig. And that's what I'm going to tell them. I'm going to, maybe, maybe I'm calling and I'm asking for too much. So maybe somebody didn't already put something in the system. I feel like I've had that before, which is why it's, tickling my fancy right now but um I, i'm gonna let them work their magic now i just will let them know that i'm either gonna do non-dairy as long as it's just not any dairy milk and like i said y'all i'm i'm getting hungry i'm getting hungry do it in two orders because one thing about it they be trying to not give you the cheaper item for free Y'all know that coffee, your arm and the leg. The breakfast stuff don't be that much. So I'm just like, can you ring me up in two orders? And I'm using my... Because, honey, I don't want to pay for the coffee. If I don't have to pay for the coffee. Alright, let's go. Drink. Alright. And um, can I do a separate order um, as well and get your uh, bacon gouda egg sandwich? Yeah, um, we can still do the same order and just take your points off and we'll just take your drink off the order. Okay. Well, yeah. somebody was telling me and that you, they... Okay. You want the bacon good, you said? Yes, please. Of course. What else for you? Um, that will be it. All right. Your total is 12.42. We'll see you at the window. Thank you. All right. Now, he said he can do it. See, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you just get the service that you need. <laughs> He said they could do it all in one order. So once I go ahead and take off my points, they'll take off the drink. And I went for the venti because why not? Y'all, she is giving pretty too, ain't she? Okay, now she's rocking back and forth. I did ask for a straw because I just like drinking mine with a straw. I do like they have these new lids or whatever, but I'm still going to drink from mine from the straw. And okay, well, sir, I guess you're going to eat at the stop sign. There's gonna be down there doing every motherfucking thing. That's it. No, they wanna be, be doing team. everything. You the team mom. Yeah, you're gonna be right down and you down there by yourself. That's what I'm saying. It's hard to be eight different places at one time. Mm. Somebody gotta be mad with us. It is what it is. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. You're only one person. Sorry, work out for you like that. We'll see. Hey, y'all. Sorry if y'all hear the air conditioner. We are now at the um, school that Taylor goes to, and I'm picking her up. Apparently, there was two lines that was created, one for one club and then one for the party. And I'm so glad, y'all. Like I kind of got nervous because I was responding to text messages and messages that I was receiving when I was at home. And next thing I know, I look up and it was four o'clock, which I had planned on being here at four. But I am behind one, 
two, three, four, five, six, six cars. It's over at 430. My daughter's middle school is not too far from here and her game starts at five. So high hopes, fingers crossed that I will not miss it like last time. Last time I did have to drive about 20 minutes away to get to her scrimmage. Um, and because it's a home game, it's not too far from where we live. So wish me luck y'all i set this reminder for myself just in case i was sleep um yeah so just in case i was sleep i set a reminder to remind me at 4 30 which it is 4 30 now i'm already up so i can just go ahead and delete that because i know i gotta be making my way to her um game shortly stopped at smoothie king and got the pb swizzle bowl from there this will be my breakfast um i'm not even hungry i'm gonna go back to sleep i got up around three o'clock just could not get comfortable could not sleep um so i panicked good morning y'all um <clears throat> i got morning boys i am feeling Still so exhausted, still tired, but yesterday was a lot. I don't even know if I picked up everything because it was a lot. Matter of fact, I don't even think that I captured picking up Jordan. Um, I was under the impression that Kaysen's game started at 5. I kept saying that throughout the vlog. You guys heard me say that. Um, when I got to the school, I made it on time with a couple minutes to spare. It was another two other teams playing. So I'm like looking for her like what they switched up their uniform because I was again under the impression that she would be starting her game at five. Um, I don't think they start playing until like 530. And I was so into the game. Um, she is new to the sport of volleyball so she didn't actually play. I got to see her warm up and you know, clear her mind or whatever. Um, but she didn't get to play. She didn't even get to practice like throughout the summertime. And the coach like advised me that they don't typically practice in the summer because she's aware that kids go away, da 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 da. And that's exactly what my daughter's situation is. So this being her first sport um ever that she's played, like I get it. Um but they did very good. They ended up having two games. So around like four, five fifty, I'm getting nervous because again, I haven't gotten a chance to talk to her. Like I have the calendar and the calendar said that the game started at five, but I'm like, I got to go get Jordan. Like Jordan's at cheerleader practice tryouts or whatever, because the coach told her to still come. So I get to her school, 604. She was supposed to be picked up at six o'clock. And I'm like, you got to start making it to the entrance because other people were there to pick up their kids from different things. And then I had to fly back over to Kaysen's, um school for her game. Now, I will say that the second, they were still like in the first quarter is what I'm going to say. I don't know the terminology yet, but y'all, I am in love with the sport of volleyball. I don't know the terminology yet. What another parent was telling me because I was like, how long are the quarters? Like, because my kids' schools is not too far from one another. And I was like, I got to leave to go get my daughter. So I just want to make sure that I, I don't miss anything or whatever. And the guy was like, it doesn't go off of that. It's based off of points. So once a team or once a team gets to 25 points, it starts like another round or whatever. And whoever gets to three, it's five rounds. Whoever gets to three wins or whatever i'm like okay so i'm like thinking that i got time or whatever by the time i get back it was two other teams playing 
So I'm like, darn. But again, I was able to make the second game or whatever. It was so late, y'all. I was so uncomfortable sitting in the bleachers. But I just could not um, fathom missing her first volleyball, volleyball game. I just couldn't. So we didn't get home until like around 9 o'clock. And when I tell y'all I crashed, I crashed. Like... And and then this morning, like I said, I went out to go get breakfast once Taylor's bus came. Kason was going to take her to the bus stop this morning. But because I had got up at 3 o'clock, I panicked. Like when I looked at my phone, once she cut my light on in my room, I'm like, the light woke me up. So I'm like, what's going on or whatever. She was getting her clothes out of here. And I'm like, what's going on? And she was like, nothing. And then I looked in the hallway like through the, my doorway and I seen like Jordan's light on because I can't see Case and she's directly across from me so I said oh they must be up getting ready for school when I looked at my phone and my phone says 6 30 I was like oh shoot she's gonna be late for school let me hurry up and take her now her bus has been coming like at different times but for the most part it's more consistent in the morning than in the afternoons and Case was like mom no it's not like the last time I took her like her bus didn't come into such and such time like, we got time, and I'm like, I'm already up. I'm already, the adrenaline from the panic already got me up, so I'm just going to go ahead and take her. But um, needless to say, they they just left. When I say they, um, Kaysen and Jordan, I finished going over my budget because I don't know where I left off with that yesterday. Um, I'm about to get into my word. Um, a good sister from my church had reached out to me. She's been reaching out to me to see like how things are going. And I had like a very vulnerable moment and I was trying not to act off of emotion. Like I'll give you all the story in the background one day, but I'm like, if I was still in Delaware to help from my kids, other side of the family, the um help from like my dad my siblings and stuff like that would have really came into play like you know I started second guessing started feeling guilty for it just being me um <clears throat> and just having those silent expectations for myself and she gave me a, I'm gonna read y'all the message or whatever because you know I, I knew not to react like the old me would have been like I'm getting ready to sell my house. We getting ready to go back to Delaware because at the end of the day, like to not feel like so much adrenaline and like not be, feel like you're probably, probably, probably not even properly healing was like the thought that came up in my mind um, just from being pulled so many different places and feeling like all these places are important places to be. So she said, um, Please do away with the guilt. And I'm going to try not to get emotional. She said, please do away with the guilt. It's not from God. It's unproductive and will only make you sick. Shake it off, girlfriend. You are worth more, way more than that. And when I tell y'all, that was like when I closed my eyes last night and went to sleep. So um, I'm about to get into my word because that was something that I, I did my scripture of the day. But I want to get in get in there cut on my praise and worship and i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog um thank you guys if you made it this far for watching please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button